In this video, I'll be calculating VAR using the historical method. I also have a video on the parametric method and the Monte Carlo method, so check those out if you're more interested in those methods. So what I've got here in column C and column F is one year of historical stock price data. SPY is the largest S&P 500 stock index, so this will be representing an equity piece of our portfolio. And BND is the total, the Vanguard total bond index. This will represent the fixed income portion of our hypothetical portfolio. What we need to do first is find the daily returns for both of these. So I can just take um, the price of one day minus the price of the previous day and divide by the price of the previous day. That tells me the historic, or that tells me the return for that day in percentage form. And I just hit controls uh, down arrow on my keyboard and then control shift up arrow and control V to paste all of those daily returns. Now I'll just do the same thing with BND where I'll just say equals one price uh, from one day minus the price of the previous day divided by the price of the previous day and there we have the daily return uh, control down arrow and then control shift up arrow and then control V to paste and so we've got all the daily returns um, now we want to build out our hypothetical portfolio and let's just say hypothetically this portfolio is worth one hundred thousand dollars we've got a sixty percent weight in SPY and then whatever is not in SPY we put in BND so one minus the weight in SPY and we find forty percent so now let's find our profit and loss every single day of this year. Um, just assuming that we rebalanced in our portfolio, always started with $100,000 each day. So then we'll say this value is equal to 100,000 multiplied by the weight in SPY and multiplied by the daily return of SPY for that day plus the weight in BND multiplied by the return of BND for that day. And that right there tells us how much we gained or lost. You can see with the parentheses that represents a loss. We lost money that day. Okay, and now I'll just paste the formulas for all the observations. Oh, one thing I gotta do really quick is every cell in column L, I have to lock it with F4. There we go. All right, now I'll just uh, repaste those. And then, We'll have to specify confidence interval. Let's just start with a 90% confidence interval VAR. And then this is so simple. The historical method is the easiest method of VAR to calculate. So all I'm going to do is equal percentile inc. And so we're just going to say we want to find a value in this whole range that is 1 minus the confidence interval. So if our confidence interval is 90%, then we're finding the 10th percentile value in that whole range which is $767. Now let's look at this a different way. So I'm gonna select and highlight the whole range and I'm gonna to go to insert uh, histogram. And then let's just take a look at the further implications of what this means. So I'll put it here and blow it up so you guys can see it easily. Let's, uh, let's make the text a little bit easier to read too. All right, so what we have here in this histogram is all of the oh man i did not mean to do that <laughs> all right uh we have all of the values for the portfolio these ranges that the values could be in and so we're, when we're saying that the value at risk for 90 percent confidence interval is 763 dollars we're saying that the var is essentially in this part of the distribution of these returns but let's see what happens if we expand our confidence interval so if we make the confidence interval 95%, that should push us further out into the tail. So now our value at risk is $1,041, which actually puts us in this part of the distribution, right? So this is in the bottom five percentile of all of these observations for the whole year. But what happens if we put our confidence interval to 99%? So that should push us even further out into the tail of $1,429, which actually now we end up in this part of the distribution. So if we keep increasing our confidence interval, we'll just keep going further out in the tail. And there you have it. That's the historical method for calculating VAR. Uh, please feel free to watch the other two videos on Monte Carlo or the parametric method. And if you'd like to see the file that I uh, created in this video, you can hit the automatic download link in the description. Thank you for watching.